Hello Aries, your love reading for the week begins with the Two of Wands, Knight of Wands, Ten of Swords, and the Chariot. Your person is coming in with Strength Energy, Ace of Cups, the Fool, and the King of Wands. At the bottom of your deck this week, you have the King of Swords. All right, so King of Swords is all about laying down the law, right? Um, all about setting boundaries, you know, giving people the necessary conversations that you have to give them. Um, you know, King of Swords energy is very much uh, no nonsense, right? Very honest. You're very clear. Um, you know, nobody can get you off your square. You're very focused, all right? So this energy is coming through this reading this week, right? So a real feeling of clarity here and of just no nonsense, all right? That's your bottom of the deck energy. All right, Aries, let's get right into how do you see each other? You come in with two of wands and they come in with strength. So strength is the card for Leo, your sister sign. And uh, two of wands is your energy that you're coming into the week with. Now, this is you all over Aries because two of wands is Mars and Aries energy. You are like really moving forward. You are, I'm going to say, especially when it comes to uh, this relationship, this connection this coming week, you suddenly decide, or in fact, maybe you've been thinking about it, but this is the week that you decide to take action. Your person comes in with strength. This week, they're going to be really dealing with their emotions a lot more. They're going to be keeping their emotions in check. There may be some feelings of, uh, who knows, jealousy I'm feeling here. Um, let's begin to get some of your clarity here, some clarifiers to just to see, I feel like this two of wands, Aries is you deciding to now take the next step towards this person. This is a new love connection. Okay. So this is not a current one you're in. This is definitely feels like somebody new you're starting off with. Let's get clarity on that two of wands, page of swords and the queen of pentacles. Yep. And for your person, the tower. And the Six of Wands. So for you, Aries, I'm going to move this over a little bit. For you, Aries, yeah. Um, yeah, that Two of Wands comes on the heels of some newfound confidence, right? Um, you're feeling confident. You're feeling a little bit like, uh, you know, you're more sure that this is what you want. You have some more clarity on the situation. This is definitely a new love connection, but I think you were really nervous about it for quite some time. Queen of Pentacles is here as well. So this is something that you really want to put a lot of care into. Um, this new love connection, I think, is somebody who's been on your mind for some time, Aries. But this is the week that you're ready to move forward towards them. And this is the week that you've kind of gotten your confidence and decided, yeah, I think I want to put this effort into this. Tower energy for your person and Six of Wands. So... This is a week where some things happen, okay? There's some divine intervention that comes in for your person that really um, is, in a way, great, right? Something happens, an activity happens, a tower moment happens for them that really ushers in uh, a feeling of vindication and victory. There's some information that comes into them this week, I think. It may indeed be something to do with you because I feel like here, Aries, your person... They've been into you for some time, but you have been sort of, I believe, dragging your feet here, right? Um, you're the one who's kind of not been sure. You may not have been very confident. You may have come off to them as uninterested as a result of that. You know what I'm saying? So what ends up happening, I feel like this week, it, there's like a shocking moment. It may be the moment that you come towards them, that you really let them know, hey, you know, I'm interested. Um, and they have a victory. They feel victorious. They feel good about it. So let's go a little bit further. How do you guys see each other? Well, you see them as a knight of wands. And when they see you, they see an ace of cups. Well, you see them as, you know... This is someone who's very fiery, very passionate, 
Um, they're very, you know, extreme. They're, they're loud. They're funny. They're active. They're colorful. They're all the things that fire is. Um, they communicate really, really well. When you see them, you just see this ball of flame, you know, and I think that draws you to them. For them, they see you and they just see a cup of love. Like they see someone they can really fall in love with, right? There's something about you that is really drawing them in. However, I go back to this uh, strength energy here. It does feel like they're holding back. You know, they're like, I could fall in love with this Aries. Do I want to fall in love with this Aries? Although, yes, yeah, something does come in this week that makes them feel much more confident about it. But I think that there's a, an unsurety here, perhaps. Let's get clarity on those as well. Um, but yeah, when you see them, they just present like a real a real sort of go-getter, but just, just full of flames. This person is just really, you know, they may be a little bit flamboyant. Aries, they may be a little bit sort of, uh, you know, gregarious, life of the party type of thing. I think you're there for it because you're a fire sign and, and fire signs love other fire signs. Like they just get on with that energy. Um, to clarify, Hermit, yeah, so you've been feeling with some and the moon. So here we go. You've been dealing. Herman energy is interesting. It is Virgo energy coming in. Some of you may have Virgo in your chart. Check out the Virgo reading. I'll link that. But yeah, you've been coming out of, I'm going to say, a period of solitude. You know, you've been kind of on your own. Um, and I think this has something to do with uh, why you've been dragging your feet perhaps a little bit. It just feels like you've not been you know, it's only just now, like I say, it's only just this week that you get your confidence to go towards them. It could just be that you just have been very used to being solitary, Aries. You've been, you know, you this recent past period for you, you've been kind of on your own doing your own thing. And so, yeah, this person, not only are they like a breath of fresh air, but they're also kind of the first person you really consider interacting at, with for a while. We have the moon here for your person. So yeah, they're really unsure about their feelings. They're a little bit afraid. They're afraid to fall for you, I think. You know, they're afraid to fill, feel this whole cup of love, right? They're afraid to sort of, because they're not sure, you know, they're not sure. Listen, something about you, you know, they're, first of all, they're not sure that you dig them back or that you're into them back. They're, they're not sure of their feelings. They don't want to put themselves out there. And again, they're being really sort of, with that strength energy, they're really pulling back. They're really trying not to show you too much. They're being careful not to flirt too much. Like they're they're being shy. But a lot of it has to do with a very much an unknown factor. They don't necessarily trust you just yet. Again, this is a new connection. And you guys might just be getting to know each other now. You know what I'm saying? So it just feels like they are, you know, again, past relationships matter. You know, it could be that your person has come out of some difficult relationships and they're just not... You know, they're not willing to dive right in, you know. I think that um, you both have a lot of trepidation. You both have a lot of sort of, um, you know, you're coming from a solitary place here, Aries, right? Um, it's for you, it almost feels as though like you're getting back in the dating scene or the market or you're getting back into the swing of things, right? And you do feel a sense of urgency here. I mean, I think this person has really sparked something in you, Aries. And for them, yeah, they're concerned. You know, they're not sure. Um, they want to know more. You know, they want to know more, but they definitely feel something strong. Now, how do you guys see a possible relationship here? Well, for you, or how do you see yourselves, like the roles, the role that you will play? For you, I think, Aries, you see yourself as finally having an end to some struggling and some strife and some like really difficult relationships, you know, some really difficult um, connections you've had with people that have involved a lot of pain, emotional pain, a lot of arguing, a lot of mental sort of back and forth. And it's like you're over it and this person this relationship and your role in this possible relationship, as I say, this is new, is really very much a feeling of release. For them, they have a fool. So fool energy, it almost feels like to me that, uh, you know, for them, they feel like they can finally be free. They can finally sort of 
allow them, they want to be able to have a connection with somebody that is an adventure that allows them to really just dive in and be carefree and trust that it's going to be good, that it's not going to be toxic or hurt them, you know? And so they, they see themselves as, as ha hopefully having this full energy. I think that's really what they want and how they want to see themselves in this relationship. This moon here is, is what I, is what I feel though, you know, just, they're not completely sure, you know, they're not sure. Uh, they're not sure that if they do this, they won't be hurt or something will happen. But again, could be that this event, listen, if you, if you move towards them, Aries, if you let them know that you're interested, right? The way this is coming across this Mars and Aries here, this two of wands is coming across like you are really going to go after them, you know, go get them. That kind of shock, you know, yeah, they, you, they may trust, they may say, okay, you may convince them. You know, you may convince them, but they're going to be looking for genuine attention and affection. I think your feelings are genuine. Let's get some clarity here. Hi, priestess. And fool over fool. Wow. Yeah, this is really a new thing for them. You know, like, yeah, this is fool over fool. Mm -hmm. Just a deep desire to have an adventure, a deep desire to be able to trust I think that's what they want most of all here, you know, they this connection, they want this kind of connection where they can trust you, they can allow themselves to just leap off a cliff and go with it, you know, and everything that entails. It's really what they wish and ho how they see themselves. You, of course, come in with that high priestess. So for you, it's interesting. I think you already know what's about to happen here. You already have a gut feeling about this connection, but I think you also have been unsure to a degree. And I think for you, it's the unsurety is like, are you, you know, like I'm happy single <laughs> hermit Aries, right? I'm happy single. Like, am I going to get, you know, this, is this going to get too deep? This person wants something deep and is afraid that it'll just be so shallow nonsense. You are, or know that there's a chance of it going deep and you're a little bit worried about that. You know, you, you know, it's going to happen, but there's a little bit inside of you. I think that is holding back high priestess anyway, does have a high degree of intuition. So in any case, Aries, if you're resonating with this reading and by the way, like subscribe, comment in the comments, uh, sound off in the comments. If you're resonating with this, if you can claim this reading, um, because it does feel like in your heart of hearts, you know, that there is something here. Even if you're like wondering, am I really willing to give up my, uh, my freedom and my solitude and my singlehood, right? But it does mark the end of a long period of pain. Now, uh, possible final outcomes here, chariot and king of wands. Yeah. You and your person kind of get, um, kind of get what you want possibly here. There is an outcome for you, Cherry, at the beginning of a whole new path, a whole new life, right? The building of a whole new life coming. And then for them, King of Wands, the accomplishment of something, the accomplishment of something that's really, really important to them and like having everything fit in, right? Having their sort of, uh, their world fit what they, the picture that they imagine for themselves, manifesting the dream for themselves. And I think that that may indeed involve this relationship. You know, King of Wands is uh, very unique and, and, and very independent and fiery. And doesn't really care about the rest of the world, you know, he, 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 what they think of his vision. He knows his vision and he knows how to accomplish it. So there's a high degree of confidence coming here. And ultimately, there is a chance here for the two of you have this like really, there it is, the Four of Wands, this beautiful relationship. Oh, and three of wands, they need a little more info. Remember what I said earlier, they're nervous. But for you, four of wands coming in over uh, that chariot to clarify. I mean, for you just deciding to start this beautiful love story with this person, right? Just deciding that, yeah, this is my path. You're kind of, you, you're, you're slow rolling here. You're slow, you've got a slow boil, a slow burn here. But you come in in the end and it's really something beautiful like it feels beautiful 
Yeah, Aries, it feels like you have met a true soulmate here. Um, and despite your, you know, your trepidation, and despite that, you know, in the beginning, you're kind of like, I'm not sure you come in hard for this person and you already know, you know in your heart, you already know the connection here. You have this deep seated knowing that this person is one of the ones for you. And I don't like to say the one because I think we have multiple the ones in our lifetimes and in our lives, right? We have multiple soulmates. So this one is one of the ones for you, Aries. Let's pull your animal spirits. The hummingbird, beautiful. And the horse, mm -hmm. hummingbird, air energy. So beautiful, beautiful energy. The hummingbird knows exactly where to get the best nectar, nectar and the best everything. You know, the hummingbird is extremely resourceful and kind and helpful. Um, there, yeah, this understanding, this knowing that the humming hummingbird has, this knowing of like, you know, where to get the quality stuff, where to get this, what to do in what situations, very practical, you know, um, an animal spirit that rules clarity and practicality and helpfulness and wanting everybody to work, you know, equally, uh, well, to work in concert, right, to work well together, um, sharing of knowledge. It's a beautiful, beautiful animal spirit to do with, um, I want to say, progress and, tr you know, and just things working, people working together, relationships working. Horse energy is, of course, earth energy, and this is the earth master, the master of the material realm in terms of freedom, independence, uh, motivation, you know, um, determination, endurance, stamina. The horse is just one of those animal spirits that just is the master of the earthly realm and embodying the animal spirit of the horse means you are just, right now you're just doing very, very well in all levels, in your health, with your money, with your surroundings, your environment, with any kind of art that you're creating, you know, you are doing, you are just pressing forward, pressing forward and nothing slowing you down. And more, impo more importantly, there is a desire for freedom and independence here that is very, very strong. So take that as it, as it comes to you in terms of this connection. Let's pull out your animal spirits, werewolf spirit, spirit of the stranger, and spirit of the child. Well, were werewolf spirit is wild, untamed desire. There's a strong desire here between the two of you. Strong desire. Mm -hmm. A lot of physicality. Spirit of the stranger, caution, warning, danger. Watch out, some of you, right? There's um, danger, you know, stranger danger around. People may be lurking. Spirit of the stranger, you know, take that as it comes, okay? As I don't obviously believe this has anything to do with this connection, but there are p other surrounding people involved. Listen to your gut. High Priestess comes in to remind you that. Spirit of the child, innocence. For some of you, immaturity, and for some of you, being adventurous. Yeah, there is a feeling of, chi not childishness, but childlike feelings here. You know, just this really innocent, fresh, new kind of love with somebody. You know, I think here that is just representing a whole new outlook uh, for you, Aries. And you, in a way, for them as well. You know, I don't know what to say here. This just feels like such a beautiful match, but it is, um, it is a new match. And do and both of you are coming from backgrounds that's making the beginning of this match or like, you know, the actual connecting of this match just a little bit bumpy. Clearly, you know each other, you've seen each other. You know, I'm not talking about somebody you don't know. My love readings are about people you already have. Uh, made some kind of connection with, right? Whether it's just that you see them around or you say hello, whatever, but you know who this person is. But it's still in the very beginning stages, but this week ramps up very quickly, much because of you, Aries, because you decide, I need this person in my life, and I don't want to wait uh, before somebody else scoops them up. All right, Aries, thank you. This is your love reading for the week. Aries, Aries Cross Watchers, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I do... Uh, hope that you got something out of this reading. If you did, claim the reading, comment in the comment section 
um, give me a thumbs up or subscribe. Any of those things really help my channel, and I do appreciate when you take the time to do that, folks. But for right now, this is Bow and Arrow Tarot. I wish you all love, life, and happiness, and I hope to see you guys at your next weekly Love Tarot reading next Thursday right here on my channel. Bye-bye now.